Welcome back to the Flawcast. I'm your boy Flawzilla, and I'm here with my lovely co-host Mozilla. What up, y'all? And this is the last normal place on the internet. We're glad that you could be here with us today. All right, okay. And after this, you will be too. Now, without further ado, mm. say Forget something. Forget it. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. So we're reacting to P. Boss Hoggian. No, Boss Hoggian. Did I say the same thing twice? Boghazian. Boghazian. Right? That's his name. Yeah, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Boghazian. Yeah. Boss Hog is Slim Thug. Boss Hog. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, this is Boghazian. Yeah, we live in Texas now, so it makes sense. <laughs> mm-hmm. But uh, Pete Boss Hogian. Pete, Pete, Pete Boghazian. Bog. That's who this is. And this video is, uh, he goes to colleges and he does the, uh, where he has like agree disagree slightly yep. agree strongly agree where he has lines and he asks you a question and depending on it, whether you agree with it or not you step into an area that he has marked out okay. and then he starts having the conversation with you and sees how far he can get you to go back and forth or something like that i think i'm know? i think i might have seen a short of one of these really of these being i've seen it did. on i've seen it on uh the middle ground people mm-hmm. the people who do like the middle ground yep. they do this but on like a bigger scale Mm-hmm. So, without further ado, let's get into this. Word. Please hit that like button. YouTube is trying to throttle us. They're trying to shout about us, trying to do all this craziness. Yes, so, are. please <laughs> hit the like button and comment. If you're watching this, mm-hmm. just show your support like that and it would be greatly appreciated. Thank Always. you. So, let's get into this, man. Hold up here. Okay. Let's go. Word. Speech is violence. Five, four, Three, two, one, move. <laughs> Slightly disagree. Uh, oh, where are you? I'm going to say, I'll explain. <laughs> you can say, you can keep moving. I'll just put the mic down. <laughs> okay. You, you happy there? Yeah. You cool there? Is everything cool? You cool there? I, I don't know yet. Yeah, so. Okay. Okay. Well, you can move at any time. That's, it's you're free to move. Okay. Uh, so you strongly, tell us why. Uh, I think it's really an issue of definitions. I think violence is anything that causes physical harm to a person, a being, or I guess maybe a material object. Uh, So I don't think that speech can cause physical harm. It can certainly incite physical harm. So speech can cause violence, but that doesn't mean it is violence. Um, So for for you, and I want to make sure I understand this correctly. So for you, speech is violence is a definitional thing and you define violence like a physical yeah violence has to be. i think it speech can certainly cause emotional harm but i don't think that that is violence i okay. agree me too oh you're Already. agreeing with him oh so yeah i'm on this side uh because i think that like speech is not inherently violent um but i think that there's like critical distinctions that uh differentiate why i'm on disagree versus uh strongly a uh, disagree so i think that um okay. I think I'm a member of the DPU. I think free speech of, of uh, is very important on college campuses and, and just generally in society because it allows people of different views to like better understand each other. And I think that we get that through rigorous That's debate of ideas and mm-hmm. by seeing people principally disagree on things. Okay, uh, but I do know that there's like scientific research on uh, how um, obscenities or how offensive speech, such as using like racial slurs against people, can cause stress. And that just like a woman, like goodness. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> just joking. Uh, but uh, I had to say it. Let's continue. Because I talk a lot too, so it's not even just like a woman. I would, I would do that same thing. But at least she's I thought you on said just me. like a woman because she went to the emotion. She's about to go to the emotional no, part. I'm to saying it. just like a woman because she just hasn't stopped talking. <laughs> oh, okay. She. Hey, but, 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 yeah. but I actually. She. Mm. I agree with her mm-hmm. to an extent. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't I was just making a joke. Yeah, I got to see what she says. But I do know that there's like scientific research on uh, how um, obscenities or how offensive speech, such as using like racial slurs against people, can cause stress and that uh, causes um, a shortening of our telomeres, which are, I believe, in our chromosomes and not a stem person, so don't cite me on this, but it does uh, cause this process that um, uh, leads to adverse health outcomes. And so I know that that's while that's a cause of, of. obscenity of, of, of offensive speech uh, that no. can happen but i think uh, if, if that makes sense so i'm i'm, I'm 
So I she's don't saying agree. that if you call somebody the N word, it's gonna stress them out and lead stress leads to issues. Yeah, physical. So damage. is McDonald's that you eat. So is everything in the world. Like and I don't. None think of that, that is considered violence. You're absolutely yeah, right. Yeah, and I don't. I don't think I would no, take it like that ab- far. That was a great point right mm-hmm. there. McDonald's does the same thing. Yeah. All these things happen, and you wouldn't consider eating a sandwich. Yeah. Uh, stressing you out. Violence. <laughs> yeah, you know, or violence. violence. It's gonna stress you out though. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Just, uh, you know, uh, you hit that on the head. Thanks. Trying to differentiate between, you know, the cause and, and the inherent quality of speech. Okay. <laughs> so you were a little unsure at first. Are you still unsure? It's in, it's 100% okay to be unsure. Yeah, I think I am unsure just because this is a very, like, heavy definition statement. Yes. And I, I, my original thought was, okay, speech can't hurt anybody, so I'm just going to sort of be on this side. But then after considering it more, what if speech incites violence? I think in that situation, we as a society would put some fault on the person who said the words that incited the violence. You shouldn't. Um, so given that fault is placed on this person for violence, I think that... So you're going to blame the person that just spoke his mind, and sp- even if he told you... That's like you're going to jump off a bridge if someone tells you to jump off a bridge. Exactly. You're right? It's like, exactly. so you're going to blame that person for talking. Even if he was saying, go do all these violent things, nobody can make you do that unless you well, actually want to do that or you have some sort of like, Well, I mean, I know brainwashing and all but that. Hold on. But. Hold on. Because I know you. Yeah. And I know that you have an issue with the girl from Mass who talked her boyfriend into deleting himself. So what about that? That is her speaking to, and you, I know you hold her accountable. Yep. So that's literally exactly the opposite of what you just said. So So I think it's, I think it's situational. See, yeah, you're right. Because that, but like, because I, it's still I have an his, issue. It's still the kid's fault at exactly, the end of the but, day. But you were mad that she didn't get longer in prison. I th- yeah, which because... is crazy because she technically didn't do anything but speak. And I believe in America we do have the the right, the freedom of speech. Because situations like that, I I feel the same way as you. But it's emotional. That's completely emotional because in America you have freedom of speech, and I think. With that, with that, uh, with the First Amendment, yeah, with that, you should come the responsibility of the person. That we you're... all are responsible for our own actions, and words completely should not be able to be policed because we have freedom of speech. Whatever but, the caveats, I don't know if there's caveats to it, but but that's like crazy. I don't because, know the exact. I just know it's the right. It's the freedom of speech. So yeah, but like I still, I like I firmly believe in that in freedom of speech and that. But like, then your right? emotions but come into play like, when it comes to a situation like that. But still, right now, that's even why. when I think about that situation, I'm like, I so believe in freedom of speech, but this girl is see what I'm evil. saying. Things are. It's not black and white. That's the that's the thing about the world because. Like, I it can't justify e- it. it. Me either. I can't. But, but in my head, I believe that freedom, she, she, with the freedom of speech. She could have said it if she wanted to. Yes. yes I it. believe in freedom of speech. So him actually going through with it, her being completely nowhere near him. She was on vacation. And, oh, no, he was on vacation. They were on vacation. And she was at home. Yep. And her being nowhere near him convinced him to do that and get back into the truck and all that. Like, this. Yeah. It's it's such a crazy situation, and I think my bias is is affecting me because she, technically, by what I believe in, because of freedom of speech, should not be able to be held accountable for that. You're right, and because you know it's what? very different than yelling fire or doing in, it herself to him, or or yelling fire in a in a movie theater and having everyone cr- like get out trying to save themselves and get people trampled and killed. That right there, I feel like is different because. You are, people don't know if it's true or not. And if the house burns down, then everyone dies. So you got to get out of the house. So by yelling fire, you're creating a situation that wasn't real. And you're causing people to die because people are going to try to preserve themselves naturally. But talking someone into not preserving themselves, can you really be blamed for that? Because that originally comes from your own decision. 
to do it, regardless of how far you were pushed to do it. And I was just thinking about that the other day, because remember that girl that commented, who was like, I tried so da 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 and she's like, and what mm-hmm. if someone stops taking their medication yep. and then deletes themselves? You should be held accountable. And no, I shouldn't. I wish In my head, there's real. no way I no. can, because I didn't do it. No matter what yeah. I say, no matter wh- how much of a of a asshole I was for speaking the way I was speaking and what I said, I didn't do it. I did not do it. So but that's I like, really now thinking about it that I really feel like she shouldn't have gotten any time in jail. So when people yell fire. Yeah, it's different because you're, you're trying to pre- preserve yourself naturally. You're going to. So fire, people get out of the building. People get trampled through that. And so all the that. people that yell fire should be held accountable. Yes. Is what you're saying? Yes, because it's different. I feel like that's a different situation. Like even though they know that they're do- trying to cause harm. When they, they are trying it. to cause harm. That's why they but, should I mean, be even going to jail. She knew she was tra- she was causing she knew she was causing harm. But she wasn't causing anything because she just said it and he didn't have to do it. And if he didn't okay, and I if he didn't do it. If he didn't do it, he would just continue to live. When people if someone has a gun and someone yells Yes. Yeah. Okay. If someone has a gun exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I get that. You're creating someone you're creating that that issue. But when someone ends themselves they have to make that decision in the end you have to make the decision of i don't want to be here rather than me making the decision for you and taking you out people have in in a, in a fire department i mean in a, in a movie that people have the right to get themselves out of harm's way yeah so you're creating an urgency where people are going to react urgently and all different types of things will happen that didn't need to happen because there was actually no emergency where people are going to naturally just try to preserve themselves. Mm. But let's say you do yell fire at a, at a fire at a, at a movie theater and there is no fire and everyone gets out and no one gets hurt. That person shouldn't, nothing should happen to that person. Only but if something happens. If some, something happens during that rush and someone gets hurt, then that person should be held accountable for doing that. Mm. But if if they do it and no one gets hurt, it should be fine. Because it's America and you have the freedom of speech. Crime, a crime has to take place, I believe. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's... It, that's a rough one, right? I know because this girl, like I, I you hate that girl. I hate her so much. She, she, it was terrible. But then you think of the situation, how it happened, and he was telling her over and over again. He didn't want. I to. don't want to be here. No, no, no. He was saying the opposite. He was saying, "I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I'm unhappy. I'm unhappy. I'm unhappy. I'm unhappy." Mm-hmm. And then she said, "Okay, well, I'm, I, I support that." So if you don't want to be here, then don't be here. And and then she became obsessed with. Yeah, like with making it. him do yes. it. Yes. And then when he got out of the car and said, I'm good. I don't want to anymore. She's like, get back in the car. You know, you don't want to. Yo, that shit like turns my stomach. I can't even. And it's like, OK, so you have freedom of speech yeah. and you can say whatever you want. Mm-hmm. But people know people can also know exactly what you did and. God knows, yeah, like see? God then knows you as live well, with that. and you have to walk around and know that you and that's just told true. made your boyfriend. And don't say that. Oh, sh- it went to court. It's a national. You have a TV show made about you. It's yeah. a national thing yep. that probably international. Yeah, and you now have to every single day Everyone for the rest of your you. life. Yeah, well, that's that's the punishment. If if society says it's wrong and society's not okay with it, then society can can treat you like a pariah because they know that yeah. you're responsible for that. Absolutely. And is that karma? Is that karma I don't think then? that's wrong because it's everyone's choice whether yep. or not they want to be okay with what you did as long as they're not physically attacking yep. you. Yeah. You know? But they can just let you... have to live with the consequences yeah. of your actions because society is still society and people have the right to accept you or not. That one, like, that one makes me think so much yeah. because I can't... It's really hard to look past that freedom of speech is, is freedom of speech for that girl. Yeah, man. But, but it yeah. is. And you're right. That's how it goes, man. 
That's how it goes. This is New Hampshire. You see that? Yeah, I saw 603 yeah, on there. Yeah, that's in yeah. Dartmouth. Oh, this is Dartmouth College. That's why I said That's why yep. I said it to you originally. That's why I said that's it to cool. you. That's cool. Yeah. I guess. But he goes all over the place. He yeah. was just at UC Berkeley for another one, the one that we were just about to react to. Oh, really? Yeah. But, yeah. So, yeah. You got me thinking with that that's one. That's the convo. Huh? That, that was a good convo, man. Uh, we're not watching the whole video because I just wanted to spark the conversation. I didn't really mm -hmm. care about the video. It yeah. was a good question. I wanted to hear... You know what I'm saying? I wanted to get a conversation going. That's what a reaction, that's how I would prefer to do a reaction. Oh, yeah. I'd rather create content mm -hmm. out of content rather than sitting here watching that whole video. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's unnecessary because I just wanted to have the conversation. Yeah. And maybe you guys will continue the conversation after the video. Maybe you won't. Maybe you guys enjoyed it. Maybe you guys didn't. But mm -hmm. thank you what guys else? for coming through and kicking it with us. Hell yeah. You know, I appreciate you guys. And we're just going to continue to drop more and more content. Thank you, guys. Yep. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you comment. Uh, if you want to share it, share it. You know, yeah. we're trying to we're trying to really uh, create some conversations, create some discussion with these videos. So straight up, you know, hopefully we were able to do that. Provoke some thoughts, you know, I mean, you did me because I wasn't even thinking about that. Yeah. Well, what made you think of that? Because it was it's speech is violence. It, it just yeah. had to do with the same situation because I heard you say that but then i you were just talking about you bring her up quite a I bit i can't i can't yeah, yeah. so like i was she, like she didn't even get a pass in with my that mind. situation i know it's the exact opposite of what you're saying so i knew it was gonna make you think yeah that's crazy which made it an even better conversation and i st i like still don't want to give it to her but, but it is to. what it is man i know you don't have to do anything you believe what you believe no, you can, i know i know you but can if... sit there and be inconsistent <laughs> if you want <laughs> no because if it came down to it like lot legally like i would yeah. have to give her like it's true but, but I without just... that conversation you were ready to give yeah, her more she time ain't in got prison. No rights. <laughs> I should take her mall away from that one. She, she don't deserve none. <laughs> dumb. She's just joking. No, I am. For Obviously, real. guys. People will be in the comments like, I know. wow, I can't believe <laughs> I wanted to support you until you just said take all yeah, her rights right? away. She's clearly joking. <laughs> don't get off, off your high horse. You for know? real. Get up off your high horse. But yeah, I appreciate you guys, man. Love you guys. Uh, join the Discord, discord.gg slash flodco, F L A W D C O. We do uh, video calls, audio calls. You can give us ideas for videos and give us ideas for segments and all types of stuff. Yep. Join the Discord. It really helps. It also gives you a notification guaranteed for our content, which YouTube doesn't do. So if you join the Discord, you will every time get a, get a notification for our live streams and our videos. So, yeah, oh, yeah. appreciate you guys. You can also uh, donate on, on, on uh, Cash App. Dollar sign Flodzilla. Yeah. Links. All the links are in the description. Appreciate you guys. Yeah. Peace yeah. out, guys. See Have you guys a later. great day. Peace. Peace.